Every time archaeologists discover new findings, we become very excited about what nature has preserved. But most times, that excitement is cut short as many of these discoveries remain unexplainable up until today. Scientists keep puzzling about the existence of some of these discoveries. A lot of groundwork and research has been done, but guess what? They ended up arriving at nothing. Perhaps because our knowledge of history is incomplete. In some cases, there are a lot of holes in it. We can keep speculating about why our ancestors made some of these things, but we may end up with no answers. Have you heard of utopian civilization before? The ancient Greek philosopher Plato, in one of his writings, talked about a utopian city, the city of Atlantis, that ended up at the bottom of the sea. Many people doubted these claims by Plato, however, some still believe that there may be some elements of truth in them. Not many scientists believe it's possible for a city described as having luxurious things and varieties of animals to have existed and sunk down to the sea at that time. However, ocean scientists like Robert Ballard seem to differ. He actually thinks the myth exists. His perception is that it is a logical situation. As such, it might have been swept away by natural disasters like tsunamis or volcanoes that may have caused its disappearance. Till today, the lost city of Atlantis and its location remain unexplained. Do you think that just like the lost city of Atlantis, another underground city that can contain 20,000 people existed before ancient civilization? Deren Kuyu is an ancient underground city that is still in existence today in Turkey. The city is said to be a shelter for people looking to hide from the invasion of the enemy army. The mysterious Deren Kuyu city is, according to findings, an 18-level underground city that was built when early inhabitants of Antolia came up with the idea that they could carve their homes underground and in a hilly location to protect themselves from volcanoes and tsunamis which they claim they saw signs may happen anytime. Archaeologists found bathrooms, toilets, kitchens, food stores, schools, churches, and weapons storage rooms inside them. What can be described as astonishing about it is that 20,000 people can live there, and everything the inhabitants may need is inside. What remains unexplainable to scientists is not its existence, but how these ancient Anatolians built this city, not even on land but underneath the earth. What if I told you something more mysterious than this exists in China? A life-size terracotta army of the ancient Chinese emperor, Qin Shi Hong, was dug up by farmers in Shaxi province in China in 1974 while working in their fields. Emperor Shaxi and his terracotta army tomb was said to have existed as far back as around 259 BC to 210 BC. Historians know the carved clay figures of his terracotta army as having been created to defend and protect the ever-first Chinese emperor in his afterlife. However, what remains unanswerable is where exactly his tomb is. This has puzzled archaeologists and scientists since his terracotta army was found. They expected his tomb to be found alongside that of his army. The Chinese government constructed a pyramid-shaped mausoleum a few miles from where the terracotta army was discovered. According to ancient historians, Emperor Xia Xi's tomb is China's most luxurious and magnificent mausoleum ever constructed. It is considered an underground palace with surrounding kingdoms and architecture with different connected caves. It is also said to be full of treasures and luxurious things. Plenty of mercury is also said to be in the mausoleum. The question is, would archaeologists be able to locate and excavate the Xia Xi mausoleum someday? That remains rhetoric for now. If you find this video interesting, click the button subscribe to Magma Storm now. Moving on, do you think it's possible for lines believed to have been drawn 2,000 years ago to still be in existence today? The Nazca lines in Peru are not particularly impressive from the ground. However, when viewed from above, as commercial aircraft did when they first observed them in the 1920s and 1930s, they were awe-inspiring. Archaeologists have confirmed that hundreds of enormous shapes, ranging from geometric lines to intricate representations of plants, animals, and fictitious figures, were created more than 2,000 years ago by members of the pre-Inca Nazca culture. They did this by merely scraping away the red pebbles on the surface to reveal the lighter earth beneath in the patterns of their choice. Archaeologists believe the lines were more likely used as a ritual communication with the Nazca deities. It's still unclear why they did it, which has led to conspiracy theories about ancient astrology and alien landing. Next is an ancient animal trap hole that still exists today. Since being found by pilots in the early 20th century, the low stone walls that traverse the deserts of Egypt, Israel, Jordan have baffled researchers. Although abandoned for a long time, the network of lines, which experts have dubbed kites because of their appearance in the air, 
date back to 300 BC. According to a recent study, the purpose of the kites was to direct wild animals towards a small pit where they could be easily killed in great numbers. This information may help shed some light on the mystery. This effective approach shows that hunters in the area knew more about the behavior of the local species than was previously believed. How these ancient animal traps still exist is a mystery to scientists. Without even considering what else might be discovered, the knowledge archaeologists already possess about the Great Pyramids of Egypt is incredibly amazing. The Three Pyramid Complex in what is now Cairo, built about 5,000 years ago with the largest Khufu dominating the site, is a monument to the ancient Egyptians' love for their pharaohs and the subletities of their afterlife theology. Even now, archaeologists are continuously uncovering new tunnels and shafts created within the pyramids and looking for hints as to who constructed the colossal monuments, how they were built, and why they were built in the first place. Another ancient magnanimous structure is Noah's Ark, as the Bible describes. Some things are so good that you want to discover them repeatedly. There have been numerous occasions when people have discovered the biblical boat, or have they? When the boat came to rest according to the book of Genesis in the Bible on Mount Ararat in Turkey, archaeologists from all over the world have claimed they discovered traces of the ark there and nearby for centuries. The existence of Noah's enormous ark, however, is disputed by certain experts. Like Atlantis, Noah's Ark is a lingering archaeological mystery that will likely never be fully resolved. Do you know about the strange-looking jar on display at the Canadian Museum? It was the first time scholars discovered a holy jar full of holes, even though archaeologists have discovered many holy items. Researchers believe that the jar, which was originally discovered in a bomb crate on the outskirts of London after the Second World War, may have been used as a lamp or as a type of animal cage for either mice or snakes during the Roman Britain from approximately 43 to 410 AD. Still, according to archaeologists, these hypothetical purposes are merely uninformed speculations. Researchers are waiting for someone who has seen a simile holy jar and might know its purpose to arrive. That's why they placed a strange-looking vessel on exhibit at the Museum of Ontario Archaeology in Canada. Do you know someone who will show up at the museum someday? Another fascinating finding, still unexplained, is the Iron Pillar of Delhi in India which has been around for more than 1,600 years, although scientists disagree. There are two philosophical traditions, scientists and industry professionals, who think the environment is a factor claim that Delhi, India's temperate climate, is ultimately to blame. The circumstances were perfect, yet according to some scientists who have examined the materials, the huge mass of the pillar, the presence of phosphorus, and the absence of sulfur and magnesium in the iron are guessed to be reasons why it won't rust. In any case, it's a remarkable feat of engineering. However, that still doesn't explain why an iron over 1,700 years old doesn't rust. What do you say about manuscripts written in an indescribable language? If the Voynich manuscript is news, you're in for a treat. The handwritten and hand-drawn manuscript, according to researchers, was made sometime in the 15th century in Central Europe. It contains text in an unknown language and hundreds of illustrations, including numerous drawings of tiny female forms, many of which have swollen abdomens, are immersed or wading in fluids, and oddly interact with interconnecting tubes and capsules. Wilfred Voynich, a Polish-American antiquarian bookseller, purchased it in 1920. It's a complete mystery except for that. According to a recent theory by a scientist and his sons who investigated the artifact, a phonetic transcription of a Turkish dialect was allegedly utilized in the document. The dialect was guessed to be an ancient proto-Romanian language in a paper also published by an ancient British scholar. Nobody's been able to read it or even explain why it was written. Do you remember the story of the Vikings and how the mystery of the making of their blades remains unsolved? In making their legendary off bret swords, the Vikings may have borrowed methods or supplies from those who invented the Damascus steel. Because the technology needed to produce such pure metal would not be invented for another 800 years, archaeologists were astonished when they found the Viking blades. German researchers discovered evidence in 2020 that may indicate that the off bret swords originated in Germany. Speculations came up in 2014 when a Viking grave from the 9th century in Scandinavia was found with an Islamic inscription that reads, For and to Allah. However, this may just be a myth. It is still unclear where the blades actually came from and how they were invented. Our world is full of mysterious things. Archaeologists continue to solve some of these mysteries. Many have been explained scientifically and culturally. However, many of these findings still can't be explained to date. Thank you for watching. 
If you enjoyed watching this interesting video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Magma Storm. Check out our other videos too.